welcome back so we are started seeing ansible automation training one by one with hands on with lab so as part of today class we are going to discuss about copy module in ansible one of the very important module as i stated couple of times we have our github id called cloud and loud for this ansible automation training you stick with ansible underscore automation repository for today class you stick with class 11 folder there is a file called copy.txt let's go inside to do this lab as i stated you need to have one ansible control machine which is ansible server and manage server one which is ansible client one manage node one and manage node two ansible client two so from here if you ping ansible space all space iPhone M space ping, you should get green color ping pong, which is good to proceed with this lab. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to ping. So Ansible all iPhone M ping, Ansible all iPhone iPhone lists to make sure what are all Ansible clients you have. So node one, node two. Let's go inside. So first copy. So what we are going to do is, this is the Ansible machine, Ansible server, okay? From here, you have thousands of clients, right? From here, how to copy, right? There is a one scenario. But when you instruct from here to here itself, from here to here itself, from here to here itself, there is a configuration files and all, you need to go with client, within client itself, right? So we are going to see and, while, while copying, I want to change some particular permission or already there is a file. I want to apply some specific permission across thousand servers, right? These are all can be possible or I want to write something uh, content and copy the file and create the file with some specific contents. So we will see all this type of copy. Let's go inside. So first copy the file with owner. So there is, this is the file is available in Ansible machine. From Ansible machine to client one, from Ansible machine to client two, from Ansible machine to client three, everything, because we have mentioned host all, right? As of now, we have only two, but in real time, you may have multiple servers, right? So let's, so to do this lab, you need to have one window, putty window, another putty window. These two putty window, you need to log in as a Ansible server, as a Ansible user. And third putty window, node one, you log in as a root, node two, log in as a root. If you have this setup, then this lab you can do very easily, right? So I'm going to copy this. This is my Ansible server, vim copy.yaml, right? Let's increase it, set paste, so that there won't be any indenting issue, right? Insert, paste it, then only you need to say write, okay, enter. Don't, don't come out of the file. I have another, another putty window, which is also Ansible server as an Ansible user. See here, Ansible user. Now I am going to say ls, there is a copy.yaml. So cat copy.yaml. Yes, we have it. Ansible iPhone playbook. Okay. Copy.yaml. So before execute this, what is there? So var temp foo.conf. Let's check in Ansible server, right? Ls ltrh. What is the file name? This file name is there or not? So let's check, yes, is there, right? So go to node one, what is the uh, directory we are going to configure? Copy temp directory, node one, right? ls ltrh slash temp, check it. So there is no foo.conf, right? So now what we can do is from Ansible server, right? Ansible playbook, and then copy.yaml, enter it. 
if you do this automatically what will happen from ansible machine go to var temp.conf and then so basically node 2 is already there that is why it's showing as a green node 1 we will go here and we will uh, zoom it see there is a foo.conf and owner and group is ansible ansible see here you have set it up ansible ansible or you can set whatever you want and permission is 644 see here 644 so this is this kind of a from ansible server to if you want to deploy some files to across your uh, 2000 or 3000 servers right you need to specific call the relevant host group inventory group and si create similar playbooks come down copy file with owner and permissions so here you are giving like 044 instead of this user read write group only read others only read this format also you can the the ansible will support so let's go here as i said don't close this file so that it will be easy for you go to insert mode and then i am pasting it then only i am writing it so let's check the necessary changes yes is there see here now we are going to execute the same ansible playbook copy.yaml so now what will happen is so this way of file permission also will be supported so either you can go with this format or this format both will be supported by ansible and copy file with owner and permission so here you can give the same but you can instead of this you can also mention this format also say user add read write group i don't want write and execute others i don't want read write execute so you are removing a group and others permission you are uh, you are mentioning that only users right this way of permission also you can specify ansible will support so go to insert mode paste it and i am going to say write and you can mention this cat copy.yaml yes the 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 latest changes has been saved so now you execute ansible iphone copy ansible iphone playbook copy.yaml so still you can able to achieve the same wait for it so let's go to node 1 right ls iphone ltrh see here so now you can mention this right execute so the similar way here correctly apply so you can apply like this permission and this format also supported and this format also supported by ansible let's go further from ansible server to all clients so the same way assume you have some file called etc ntp.conf some configuration file you prepared right so this file i want to deploy across all your clients but before deploy i want to take a backup right so copy this go here first to delete this and say insert mode so here there is a small typo you can add the right so i am just saving it now you execute it so in this case etc ntp.conf also will be copied let's say we will go with uh, ntp sorry node 1 and then go to etc right ls ntp star okay so what we'll do is we will remove it previous testing still it is there so etc ntp i am removing it even node 2 also go to slash etc rm iphon rf ntp remove it right so here 
uh, we are going to execute it let's see what happened so from ansible server it will copy the ntp.com file let's go here ls ntp copy this so you can go here ls slash etc slash ntp okay so ansible server so you can take this file and copy now you want to take the backup off with timestamp right so come here come here so you need to apply this format this format is more specific to it will add at what time right so either you can go with the same uh, playbook add this and replace the file name or i'm going to create one test file and that file i want to copy but while copy i want to apply this but there is a small parameter i'm adding remote underscore src colon yes so previous copy this playbooks there is no file called option remote underscore src yes right so there is a scenario you have thousand servers right there is a situation where you are replacing some small changes so maybe uh, some uh, dns ip address or uh, ntp server ip address or something so the, the those kind of a changes has to be applied across all your clients the challenge here is the file is available in here 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 so in all clients the file is available so from here copy take a backup first and then replace it within this server you need to achieve this copy within this server achieve this copy so previously from ansible machine this is ansible machine from ansible machine you deploy from ansible machine you deploy to this client from ansible machine you deploy to this client right but this way from server you have some file common uh, template file you are deploying it to across all servers but this playbook scenario is you have something in each server but those each server i have to take a backup and then i have to copy but while taking this i need to add this timestamp let's copy this playbook so in that case you need to add remote src underscore s yes. if you add this parameter the copy will be in each and every client within that client only the copy will happen so let's go here remove this i'm going to insert mode paste it and i am saving it in another window we are going to execute if you execute this automatically what will happen let's check so it 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 got executed so we will go to var temp in node 1 and node 2 ls ltrh and then see here what is the date so there is a date already we have so if you want you can add the date and time stamp also so accordingly you need to change the variable here the the date time so you can even go with the ansible factors also we will see it in uh, uh, for coming classes so you have to do this if you apply this and even you can uh, apply your change ticket number also most of your projects even uh, they prefer to go with their change ticket number along with the dates right so in that case you need to have some scenario here while copying right so let's go further and here you have you are copying but while copying if you say force no right you know what is the benefit of this if you say force no from ansible machine to all clients if the file is not having the file is not there right then automatically it will copy 
if there is any changes right then force no instead of no you say yes automatically will be copied let's see both scenario now i'm going to copy this with force no and force yes so let's delete this and say insert mode right so go here let's first take take the etc host file entry right better i want to copy slash etc host to make sure we are not missing out anything var temp slash host right so see here 10.128.0.37 in ansible server in node 1 cat etc host right 10.182.0.2 so this is different because this is different machine so this also i am just want to show you how you need to practice slash temp slash host right so we have taken a backup now we are going to execute first we will save this and make sure the changes got taken effect sorry cat copy dot yaml yes so now what we are going to do is we are going to execute this playbook ansible iphone playbook copy dot yaml right so when you execute this automatically there is a file is already there right but it's not copying again i'm going here i'm going to say cat see nothing changed now what i'm going to do is i'm going to change yes right so it's the same copy but i am going to remove it so now i am going to execute it what will happen it will find the difference between both files then it will overwrite see here it will overwrite here 10.128.0.37 but my previous testing it got override etc host from ansible server that is why i i'll show you don't get confused so 10.128.0.37 this is actually ansible server file my previous testing it was not removed so i want to show you one is removed and changed one is not right because the same file even force equal to yes it was not touched why the content in that file it's not having any changes right so this is how you need to practice that is why uh, initially itself i told if you want to learn ansible kind of a uh, automation you need to have minimum one success machine client one another success, uh, failure machine which is client two uh, in ansible terminology you can say managed host one managed node two right so we will go down and how to write a plain text suppose i want to write something in the file and then create the file with that content right so there is a content option will help you so let's copy this go to ansible delete this so you will save a lot of time while practice if you do a two window plus um, node one root user another window node two root user another window so i'm going insert mode i'm copying this so i'm only writing the changes let's see the changes is taken effect yes so you can write anything so say for example you can write hello how are you okay i will not feel fear in automation right so you 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 write something right so i am going to save it now we are going to check the changes yes is there so now we will execute this let's see so what is the file dollar home test file right in that case you do this in your node 1 and check the changes is taken effect see it, it got even node 2 also 
So even uh, using the Ansible factors, you can change according to the machine values. That also possible. We will see it in detailed way in coming classes. Right? Come down. Setting different owner with become true. So here we are adding one more parameter. So let's copy this. Suppose different user you want to apply, right? With root privileges, then it's a better to add become option. So and some of you will ask, how do I re keep remember? You uh, memorize all these parameters. Don't memorize any any of this parameter. As I told, one more window concept. Ansible. Ansible iPhone doc. What is this module? Copy module. So even there is a version changes, always stick with Ansible iPhone doc, right? Come down. So all these options will be here. It will be mentioned. See remote SRC. Even uh, SLNX level also you can mention. Come down. There is a examples also you can feel. So Ansible life and doc will give you a more confident when you go for such automation areas. So I'm going to remove all this insert mode, say paste it. Then I'm going to save it. Not coming out only colon right. So now you check the changes. Copy dot YAML. Yes, I'm going to execute it. So in that case, you need to check, go here. You need to go home Ansible test iPhone file. What is the user? What is the user owned by root, right? Come down. How to back a file if copy needs overwrite it? So you can mention some backup colon true. If you apply this automatically, it will take the backup. And also how to write templated text file. There is a module called template and fetch. We will see difference copy and template and the fetch module. So you, you, you will see in uh, uh, further classes. But as of now, if you do a content option, so what we'll do is it will create this file with this text, which we seen now, right? Stay tuned. We'll come up with more hands-on session. Thanks for everyone.